Hi dear students. Today our topic is subject verb agreement. You have already learned subject verb agreement. However, we are just going to learn more about this topic. While we learned tenses in English, we have learned past, present and future. And while we are classifying this past, present and future, we will get 12 tenses. Basically, there are three tenses in English. but if you are just going to classify into uh, these three verbs, you will get 12 tenses. Uh, for example, uh, if, if you are just doing it in present, we will get simple present, present continuous, present perfect, present perfect continuous. This way, this uh, these three forms will do in the other two tenses. That means in past and future. Okay. So here, in the present tense, in the present tense, what how we got the present tense the rule of the present tense is this if the subject is singular then we will have to an s with the verb okay, this is the basic form or this is the uh, rule of present symbol so here in the in this lesson what we are going to do is that the agreement with the with, uh, with this subject and verb how it happens how this agreements takes place this is what we are just going to do here in this topic. So let's go to the next slide. Here you see plurals in English grammar. To what is plural? What is singular? Plural means more than one. Singular means the single one. Here you see to make a non-plural we add s. Yes. This is a basic form. This you know or every, you, everyone knows this one because it's very simple. What is that girl? How to make this girl into plural? This is one girl now. So this is singular. Singular means <clears throat> it's only one girl. Then if we add an S here, we will get girls. That means not or not one girl, more than one girl. Uh, that means here yeah, girls. Okay, see. To make a noun plural, we add S. Yes. Girl, girls, boy, boys, teacher, teachers, like that we are making plurals. Then, to make a verb plural, we take away the S. Yes. You see, the difference, to make a verb plural, we take away the S. Yes. Singular, in singular, he talks. So, in order to make an agreement, we have to add yes with the verb and uh, in which case it is in the case of subject singular this here the he is subject singular so with the verb we are adding yes you always should keep in your mind that if there is the a subject is singular always we have to add an s with the verb this is the form of simple present okay what is the uh, case of plural then if it is plural we need not to add yes with the verb yes with the verb they talk it is a easy way to learn this method okay so um, only in the case of singular we are just adding yes if it is the case of plural we are not adding anything we have to add a verb one this is verb one okay so next watch the verb endings singular I walk, you walk, he or she, it walks, Joe walks, the girl walks. Here you see the difference, I walk, just change the we walk. You also, the same rule. So in the case of you and I, it is having the same rule in singular and plural. I walk, we walk, you walk, you walk. Okay. He, she, it walks, they walk. Here if it, this one is singular this one we cannot define singular or plural because you is, is used in English either in uh, either as singular or as plural okay so but this one is definitely a singular verb I but the rule is this if it is I we will have to use the present tense of the verb next she he uh, he these are the singular subjects See, he, she, it, everything is singular subject. So, in this case, we have to use yes. They, we know that it is plural. No need to add yes with the verb. 
they walk. Jo singular walks. The girl is singular walks. Jo and Maria. Two persons are here. Jo and Maria. So we need not to add yes. Walk. Present sim, uh, sim, present tense of the verb. We have to use the girls walk. You know this. Everything you know. It is very easy. You already have learned. However, just um, reminding you. Just reminding you what it is. Okay. Here, uh, this is the form. Walk, walks, walks. Next, remember there are irregular verbs. What is it the case of irregular verb? Singular. He does. Do, did, done. Do, did, done. You, while we are just adding yes here, we have to use es. Really, we are adding only yes, but the form of does is es. D O E S D O E S. He does. They do. Already told you do, did, done. Do. Present. Does. She has. They have. B. This is the case of do. This is the case of have. This is the case of B. He is. They are. She was. They were. Plural. These all are singular form and these all are in plural form. Okay. does has is was t for subject verb agreement what is it here you see generally if the subject does doesn't end in s yes, the verb will if the subject does end in s yes, the verb won't if you keep this in your mind it will be very easy to capture this one was this for example here the girl there is no yes so we have to add an yes here this is only a tip is only a tip you just take it in that way only a tip the girl there is no yes so guess is here girl dances okay uh, it is an easy tip to understand no yes on subject here no yes on subject so yes is here you see yes on verb if the S is not with the subject, then S will be the with the verb. Okay, it's a easy way to remember. That's why I put it here like this. Uh, next, the girl. Here only one girl dancing. So the girl dances. The girl dances. Next, the girls. Here already S is there with the subject. So there is no S with the verb. This way also we can remember it. Okay. As a tip, I have just given it here. Yes on subject, but no yes on verb. Girls means more than one. Uh, maybe it two, three, four, anything. No problem. Okay. How many girls? Doesn't matter. But <coughs> here, the number is uh, uh, depending on this uh, subject. Girls, if there are two or more than one girl that is that means girls then we need not to use this with the object mm. multiple subjects joined by and multiple subjects joined by and what's that if there are two or more subjects joined by and the subject must be plural so the verb will not get an s if there are two or more subjects joined by and uh, sometimes this a long sentence will be confusing how the subject must be plural so the verb will not get an s uh, here you see if there are two or more subjects already we what in previous uh, slides what we have learned is that we learned about only one subject case here but there are two subjects you see the boy and the girl boy is a subject girl also is a subject in this case how to use this okay you see here if there are two more two or more subjects joined by and and boy and boy and the subject must be plural boy and the girl there are two sentences how this and uh, this words joined these words joined with the word and 
so in this case so a verb will not get an yes we can count this as plural one okay so the boy and the girl dances not the boy and the girl dance there is no yes they dance boy and girl means they not one but two so we can just call them they okay so they dance we never say they dances okay this is the rule here next multiple subject joined by or this will be a little bit confusing one if there are two or more subjects joined by or the verb agrees with the part of the subject closest to it how it happens you know here you see the professor or the students walk the halls here we can sometime we will have some uh, confusion what is it you see the professor is a singular one not professors the teacher teachers professor is singular and the students these are plural so which one we have to uh, take in uh, consideration which one you see professor or students if it is the case of professor we have to use walks the professor or the students walks the halls or we, we can say that the professor or the students the, here are students so walk so in this case which one is correct that is the problem anyway let's look at it the students or the professor walks the halls what is the difference here you see in this case we have to consider the subject just before the verb the subject just before the verb what is the here that there are two subjects professor and students but which one we have to consider the subject just before the verb here what is the where is the verb here here is the verb walk then we have to consider the just immediately before the verb the verb immediately before the uh, the sorry the, the subject immediately before the verb here walk is the verb and just before the verb is students so you need not consider this one professor because which one is closest to the verb the students is the closest to the verb so which subject is just very standing very close to the verb is considered in this cases okay walk students about stu uh, the students walk is the correct one the professor <coughs> professor walks professor walks here the same sentence but what happened you know the students just came to the front the students just came to the beginning then professor just change change its place into the uh, nearest of the verb in this case the students or the professor walks the halls the students or the professor walks you see the difference here students then walk professor then walks so we in this case we have to consider the the word or the subject just before the verbs depending on this subject we are deciding whether it is <coughs> a singular subject or the plural subject and as per that rule it happens walks or walk so yeah, depending on this one it happens walks or walk so uh, you see students walk professor walks professor walks indefinite pronouns in this case of indefinite pronouns what are they anyone everyone someone no one nobody some indefinite pronouns are always singular here are some examples all this is this anyone any or uh, everyone someone no one nobody if it happens if these pronouns happen in the first of the sentence then what will be the role you see others can be either singular or plural all some indefinite pronoun uh, anyone everyone someone no one nobody will be in uh, what singular the same, same the, at the same time all someone will be in uh, either singular or plural you, uh, you can look at the example then you will get more about it some ideas everybody loves grammar everybody loves grammar there is a very famous book sometime you might have heard about it everybody loves a good draught d r a u g h t 
have you heard it everybody loves a good rot it is by pisaynath you should read that book uh, it is about the rural india uh, very famous book and it will be very useful for your uh, study especially in in the case of uh, journalism okay uh, everybody loves grammar okay leave it come here everybody loves grammar here everybody what we have to use everybody means in meaning there is no it is not only one person but there are many persons however we are using only singular form. this one is used as singular one everybody loves grammar okay some more examples are here some people love here yeah, you see some used as which one plural considering as plural one some people love relative pronouns next relative pronouns can be either singular or plural depending on the word they are referred to the student who works hard will succeed the students who work hard will succeed here what it can be either singular or plural depending on the word they refer to yeah the students who works hard will succeed okay the, here the student since it is student singular there is a s here the student who works the students who work hard normal case no problem student students helpful hints sometimes several words come between the subject and the verb just take out the phrases in the middle to see whether or not the subject and verb agree ah uh, here you see uh, in this uh, context what we have to do the student though she had lots of problems in other schools finds find her new class uh, this one makes uh, some confusions in our reading you see the student though she had lots of problem in other schools finds or find her new class easy <coughs> is uh, if the sentence is like this you just avoid the words between the commas what are the words here, here we have a comma what is that the after the student there is a comma and this comma is just uh, ending here of other schools okay you just avoid these these words let's take this one only the student find her new class easy so if you avoid this type of words or the words in between the commas straight away we will get the, the the sentence like this the student finds her new cl class easy here what is the problem then if, if this is student not student so which one we have to use finds or find tell me it is find no doubt it is what finds because this uh, subject is singular so yes it should be the this is the rule okay so you what you have to do you just avoid this words between the commas and directly look at the subject and then the verb okay this is the main verb already one uh, helping will be is there you know to consider that one just look at the uh, main verb then we will get the answer the student you see this is in which, uh, a different color i have given it to understand uh, you the student though she had lots of problem finds her new class so no doubt it should be finds the student finds uh, the, this is the simple way that made the sentence this way the student finds her new class easy okay prepositional prepositional phrases the subject can never be part of prepositional phrases example the students in my class study studies hard subject can never be a part of prepositional phrases students in my class in my class yeah in my class also one subject type of word is there my but what is the rule subject can never be part of prepositional phrase this one is a prepositional phrase no need not you need not bother about it one you see then which one should will be here the students in my class uh, study not studies not studies okay 
uh, you have to look at this one next. In the sentence below, do the subject verb agree? Agree. This is a work for you to do at home, and I will give more questions in Google Forms uh, that you can submit for me. But this one for your homework. Okay. Uh, I think now you have understood everything. It's a very easy topic. You not worry about it. Um, if you have any doubt, feel free to ask me. Uh, any doubt, you can ask me, and let's find up. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.